Hi and welcome to part 2 of replication in SQL Server. Here we are going to discuss about snapshot replication. What is snapshot replication? How do we configure snapshot replication? And when to use snapshot replication? Before we proceed to part 2, I would recommend you to watch my part 1 video of replication which is about introduction. In this video we have discussed what is replication, what are the terms used in replication and what are the types of replication available in SQL Server. I will leave a link in the description. You can watch it from there. This part one. Okay. So let us proceed with part two. As I said, there are different types of replication, but in different ways, they all replicate the data. So in general terms, what is a snapshot? In your mobile, uh, if you take a screenshot or we can call it as a snapshot, what it does, it just take the screenshot or a snapshot what is present on your screen just take the current state of your screen the same way here we are going to take the snapshot of the data it distributes data exactly as it appears at a specific moment in time and does not want it for updates to the data it just replicates the snapshot of the data so whatever the state of your database tables or uh, your articles or your publication that entire snapshot will be taken and share the data with the subscriber. So as we have already seen the, the, what is publisher, distributor and subscriber in our part one of your replication. So here publisher will be your target and subscriber sorry pu publisher will be your source and subscriber will be your target and we are going to replicate data from publisher to subscriber via distributor and we have here snapshot agent, distribution agent and snapshot folder. What this snapshot agent will do is it is used for generating snapshot and but not for data delivery. The distribution agent is used to deliver data to the when to use snapshot replication. Data do not change frequently. Large volume of changes occurs at, at a specific time when it is acceptable to have a copies of data that are out of date. So with respect to publisher for a period of time. So when you are okay with the outdated information then you can go for snapshot replication and when we are replicating small volumes of data and when you are using your database for reporting purposes so these are the scenarios where you are going to use a snapshot replication let us proceed with the configuration part that is demo here i have total three machines one will act as a publisher other will act as a distributor and other will act as a subscriber. So these are those three machines A101, 102 and 103. Publisher, distributor and subscriber. So this publisher will be my source and subscriber will be my target. And data is going to be replicated from source to target. The first step we are going to do is we are going to configure this distribution this is first step and second step would be creating a publisher publication in the publisher as you already know publication is nothing but a group of articles where article is a group of some tables stored procedures or views okay after we configure publication we are going to create a subscription at this subscriber you can also make uh, publisher and subscribe uh, and distributor as one instance that means you can configure both publisher and distributor in single instance and subscriber as another instance but here in my demo i have taken three individual instances for publisher distributor and subscriber so let us start the demo so the first step is configure a distribution So here I have connected all the three instances in the same SSMS. 101 will be publisher, 102 will be distributor and 103 will be a subscriber. Without configuring distribution, if you try to create a publication, it will give you an error. It must have some other server that is going to act as a distributor. So let me show you what error you will face. I mean, if you are using different server as your distributor you need to first configure distribution if you are using the same server as a distributor then no need to configure dist uh, distributor separately let me show you that go to replication and then right click on replication 
sorry go to this pub local publication right click click on new publication you will get a publication wizard click next and here you can see the two options here to configure distributor either you can choose the same server the publisher server as distributor then there is no need to configure distributor separately you can just click next and you can proceed it will create a snapshot folder at this path but if you select the second option which is you are going to use another server as a distributor then in that case you need to first configure that server as a distributor so right now in my case a102 will be a distributor but i did not yet configure the distributor in this instance so if i try to add the distributor here and connect it will not connect so it says select server that is configured as a distributor this a102 is not configured as a distributor so first i need to go to this a102 and configure it as a distributor go to a102 go to replication right click on replication and you can see the option configure distribution click on this option and you will get a configure distribution wizard its configuring distribution is very simple you need to just click next and follow the instructions so here you are going to choose the first option because a102 will act as a distributor here we are not going to choose another server because a102 itself is a distributor click next and here if you see the path here it will create a snapshot folder if you want to change the path you can change it from here that is up to your requirement click next so i am okay with the default path i am going next so here you can give the distribution database name once you configure a distribution the database with this distribution name will be created under system databases if you want you can rename it so i am just adding distribution db and uh, the related log file and uh, data file will be stored in this path it's a default path click next here you need to specify the list of publisher i mean uh, so this a102 is a distributor what all the publishers are going to use this a102 server as a distributor you need to specify those publisher list here if you don't specify you will face an issue while uh, connecting the distributor from your publisher so wantedly i am not adding the publisher list here to show what error you will face okay so i'm just proceeding here click next distribution has been completed so just refresh the databases and you can see under system databases you will have your distribution database and under security you will have distributor admin which is having sysadmin privileges so this is created by default okay and also in the link server server objects link server you can see ripple underscore distributor is created by default and also under agents sql server agent go to jobs here you can see there are six job that has been created 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so these six jobs are created once you configure distribution okay. so our first step is completed now we are going to publisher and we are going to create a publication go to replication when you expand publication there is no publication created previously that is why it is empty so right click on local publication new publication click next and here select your distributor your distributor is a102 so it says this a101 is not enabled as a publisher at the distributor if you remember while configuring the distributor i told you that i am wantedly not uh, listing a101 as a publisher at the distributor side so this is a reason why you need to mention the publisher at the distributor only so click okay let me minimize this go back to your 
distributor a102 right click on replication go to distributor properties and here publisher add sql server publisher so what is your publisher it is a101 and connect so when you are connecting it from remote you need to specify a password so specify the password for a101 so this password you are going to use it when you are connecting this distributor from your publisher so publisher is specified at the distributor end now go back to that wizard new publication wizard click add now try to connect this time you will not face any issue because the publisher is added at the distributor that's it so a102 is your distributor click next and you need to give the password the password which you, you have specified at the distributor so these are the list of databases that are present select any database i am going to select the first one db underscore repel and click next so select the type of publication in this demo we are going to configure the snapshot so i am selecting the first option which is snapshot click next so it is retrieving data so here you will you have to select the articles so as we already seen article is a group of tables stored procedures or views so in this database db underscore ripple i have total three tables and two stored procedure i am going to replicate this product dot dbo product uh, table and you can choose the properties of your articles like uh, if you want to continue your primary key or foreign key to the subscriber you can select true here otherwise you can select false so like that you have so many options you can just go through it so i'm replicating this table product as it is click next so here you can filter the data like uh, suppose if you want to replicate the table data using some filters like your data is greater than some 30 40 like that so you can directly specify your t sql statement using where clause so right now i am not using any filters going next so create a snapshot immediately and keep the snapshot available to initialize the subscriptions go to next so here security settings for your snapshot agent so you need to give the account windows account so it is not recommended to use sql server agent account it is recommended to use a separate account for replication which is a windows authenticated domain which is having a local server admin access and also sysadmin access at your sql server level so i'm using my administrator account here password confirm password <coughs> click ok by impersonating the process account ok next create the publication here you need to give the publication name let me give publication 1 and finish so publication has been created close it now you can see under local publication this is your publication and after we create the publication you will get one more job added at the distributor under jobs let me show you sql server agent jobs you can see there is one more job created so a101 is the instance this is the database name db underscore repel pub1 is the publication name okay and uh, 
when you go to this publication you can see the snapshot status right click on publication and you have view snapshot agent status you can see a snapshot of one article was generated so if you remember we have selected one table that has that has to be uh, replicated so that is the article which is there here you can verify the snapshot at the snapshot folder go to a102 machine and uh, go to your default folder this is a snapshot folder and you can see here there is a snapshot created a101 is the instance name db underscore repl database name and pub1 is the publication name if you open you will have the snapshots here okay so now let's go back to this one so here you can also monitor the snapshot agent status and uh, uh, monitor the replication also so here is your uh, publication status where it says ok so this is your publication you can see the status of agent it is completed and you can see the warnings and all so subscription is not yet set that is why it is empty you can go to this agents and you can click on view details you will see what all are uh, created I mean snapshots are created you can see a snapshot of one article was generated so this is a history so it just gives you connecting and then 0 0.7 7 and 61 percent just give you the progress of uh, snapshot creation so that is that's it here okay so now let's close this and configure our subscriber so publisher is set distributor is set and we have to configure subscription at your subscriber so what I am going to do here is I am going to replicate so my publication is already ready so the publication is this one this publication is going to be replicated to this A103 server in the session 1 database so let us see how we are going to do it so you can either uh, I mean uh, either create a subscription here new subscription at the subscriber or you can create the subscription at the publisher and also just go to replication expand right click on local public uh, subscriptions new subscription click next so this is your publisher and this is your publication if you have uh, more than one one publication in this database it will show you click next run all the agents at the distributor so here you have push subscription and pull subscription if you opt push subscription then the distributor will deliver the changes that are made at the uh, publisher to the subscriber without request from the subscriber but if you select pull subscription the subscriber has to go to distributor and ask for a uh, changes that are made in the publisher so here I'm going to push subscription only click next so add the subscriber here a103 is my subscriber this one connect it's connected so here choose the database in which database you want to uh, replicate this data so I want to select session 1 database if you want to create a new database you can directly go ahead and create here so I'm okay with session 1 database click next here distribution agent security you need to give the account for the subscriber so as I said in earlier use same account for replication that have uh, administration privileges both at server level and at SQL server level giving the password okay that is it next this is your subscriber agent schedule I want to run it, run it continuously click next initialize immediately create the subscription here is your summary and finish 
so it is success subscription has been added if you give wrong password uh, at the service account or the administrator account it will fail so you can go back and uh, create a new subscription if you give wrong password okay so here i'm okay now so first let me show the data that that is present inside this uh, database so as i shown there are three tables in this database three tables so i have replicated this product table so what is present in product table you can see there is only one record in this product table now i am going back to the subscriber and check whether this table with one record is replicated or not so here is my database refresh expand expand tables and we can see the table has been replicated okay so we can verify the data and uh, there is one more job created at the distributor after you create a subscription you will see there is one more job created so this is the job that has been created so this is a publisher publisher database name publication name and the subscription name so now let us check the data at the product table at the subscriber end use the same query select start from product you can see there is one record that has been replicated so this is at the subscriber and this is at the publisher so now let us insert one record at the publisher end so i'm inserting this record at the publisher you can see the there are two records now but when you check at the subscriber you can still see only one record why because the snapshot is not yet created and not applied at the subscriber so this change will be applied only after you take a snapshot and apply at the subscriber so now i am going to the, the distributor and i am going to run the publication job so this one once i start the job a snapshot will be taken and uh, it is applied at the subscriber so job has been completed now let me fetch the records so here the snapshot has been taken you can uh, verify the snapshot uh, folder in a102 machine let me go back and you can see there is one more folder that has been created just now so here is your snapshot now this snapshot has to be applied at the subscriber so run this jo uh, subscription job now let's verify the records you can see the second record has been applied at the subscriber okay this is how a snapshot replication will work and for suppose if you want to replicate another table i mean if you want to modify the publication you can just go to this publisher replication select the publication and go to its properties there you will have articles here you can select the article or the table or the procedure uh, sort procedure which you want so i am i have selected employee table now and enter so now the publication has been modified before we have only one table now we have two tables employee table and product table so what we are going to do is we are going to take a snapshot again so there is only one product table so first run the snapshot job okay now meanwhile you can check the replication monitor status launch replication monitor so this can be done at the publisher also so 
so you can see here is your publication subscription the status is running and agents it is completed and there is no warning you can see this is still running okay now let's check the tables at the subscribe button you can see the employee table has been replicated you can also fetch the records from employee table okay that's it so i hope you have understood the concept and the configuration of rep snapshot replication so in the next video we will meet with transaction replication if you like the video please hit like button do subscribe and share thanks for watching